Okay, so good day everyone. It's me again, Sir Eugene. Okay, so from my previous video, na discuss ko na yung tools, na discuss ko na rin yung materials. Okay, so we're through with that. So now, discuss ko naman yung mga learning tasks na kailangan nyo may accomplish for this week or yung sa ngayong week 3 na mga activities. Okay, so let's proceed. So learning task 1, what I know. So identify the carpentry tools or materials illustrated or described on each item. So in each item, so meron na mga naka-indicate o meron na mga given examples yung illustrations ng tools natin or either materials. So kailangan nyo lang identify at piliin yung letter kung ano yung name ng tools na yun or ng materials. So 10 items po siya. So again, ulitin ko pipiliin nyo lang kung ano yung name among sa choices pipiliin nyo lang kung ano yung name ng given na material or tools per each item so yung learning task 1 natin part 1 pa lang siya so ito yung part 2 natin so learning task 1 what I know pa rin para part 2 so categorize the tools materials given using the table below so copy and answer po ito so meron tayong given na table so tools and materials so kailangan nyo lang identify kung alin dito sa mga given natin ang tools or materials so i-arrange nyo lang siya properly dito sa table so ano yung given natin so we have mallet we have the lumber saw hammer tri square gi wire router nail GI sheet and plane. So, kailangan nyo lang identify dito or arrange sila itong mga tools na to and materials itong mga given natin kung tools ba siya or into materials. So, that's for learning task number 1 2 So, ito naman yung learning task number 2 natin What is in So, direction Based on your own understanding what are the similarities and difference of the tools and materials? So, kailangan mo lang i-distinguish ko ano yung explain. Okay, this is explain mo rin. Same time. Kung ano yung similarities and difference ng tools and materials. Okay, so sa first circle natin, may naka-indicate na tools. So, dyan mo isusulat ko ano yung different, difference niyan ng tools natin dun kay materials. Then, sa circle naman yung materials, ano yung difference niya compare kay tools. Then, dito sa circle natin sa gitna, tools and materials, ano yung similarities ng tools natin at ng materials. So, yun yung learning task number 3 natin. So, explain mo lang yung differences and similarities ng tools and ng materials. So, learning task number 3, what is more? So, ito yung direction natin. So, draw. So, part 2 na performance task natin. So, draw at least 10 tools using carpentry. And write each tool's name corresponding using the table below. So, ito drawing mo lang. Then, ilalabel mo rin kung ano yung pangalan ng tools na yun. Sampu dapat. So, at least 10 tools using carpentry. So, yun yung first part ng Learning task number 3 natin. So, next part naman. Learning task 3. What is more? Part 2. So, direction. Draw at least 5 materials using carpentry. And write each tool's name correspondingly. So, same concept lang din kanina. So, gagamitin yung table format natin. So, drawing yung materials. At least 5 materials natin. Then, label din natin yung name niya. Okay? So, yung first part natin, tools, 10 tools. Kailangan yung drawing. Delabel na pangalan ng tools natin. Then, second part ng learning task 3, 5 tools naman. Ay, 5 materials and carpentry. Then, label din yung name ng materials na yun. So, last learning task natin. What I have learned. 
So, direction. Identify the carpentry tools or materials or to use in the given scenario below. Put check mark to identify if it is tool or materials. So, may mga given scenarios and mayroong mga descriptions na naka-indicate per each item. So, kailangan nyo lang identify kung ano yung materials yon So, yun yung una yung ilalagay. Then, next na yun identify nyo is kung tools ba or materials yung provide dun sa scenario. Okay, so example tayo. So, Simon used metal that has a thread to pass it his table. So, what tool did he use? Screw. Tools ba yung screw? Or materials yung screw? So, syempre material siya. So, lalagyan lang ng check. So, copy and answer po ito. Then, kung mang tools naman siya, lalagyan naman ng check natin yung tools. Then, identify syempre yung name ng materials o ng tools na describe dun sa scenario. Okay? So, yun lang yung learning task natin. So, for learning tasks na kailangan i-accomplish for this week. So, kung mayroon kayong question, comment lang. Or, just PM na lang sa akin. Okay? So, that's it. Thank you. So, next week ulit for another video para sa week 4 naman natin. So, thank you and goodbye.